While CERN officials remain cautious about drawing conclusions, something in the data has clearly caught physicists off guard. Multiple research teams are now working around the clock to analyze these unexpected results that defy conventional explanations within the standard model. The term tachyonic rift itself doesn't appear in formal scientific literature, at least not yet. But this provocative description may have roots in several strange signals that emerged during recent ultra-high energy collision tests. When CERN pushed its collider to unprecedented energy levels last month, detectors recorded particle behavior that has left some theoretical physicists scrambling for explanations. CERN's latest experimental run has been pushing the boundaries of quantum field interactions at energies approaching Planck scale proximities, the fundamental limit where our understanding of physics breaks down. The Large Hadron Collider's ATLAS and CMS detectors have been collecting data that shows increasingly puzzling anomalies. Most intriguing are the unexpected particle decay patterns observed when certain heavy particles were produced in these extreme collisions. According to preliminary data analysis, several events exhibited energy fluctuations that don't align with standard quantum field theory predictions. Dr. Laura Chen, lead researcher at CERN's Quantum Topology Division, notes, we're seeing particles behaving in ways that suggest interactions with something, something our detectors aren't directly measuring. What's particularly fascinating is the symmetry-breaking instances recorded across multiple independent detection systems. When particles collide at these unprecedented energies, the quantum field appears to exhibit momentary instabilities behavior that some theoretical physicists suggest might indicate interactions with hidden structures in space-time itself. The central question emerging from these observations is profound. Are these quantum irregularities merely strange but explicable phenomena within existing models, or are they actually hinting at microscopic rips in the fabric of reality? And just when scientists thought they had ruled out the impossible, something even stranger emerged from the data. If you're fascinated by these cutting-edge discoveries that could rewrite physics as we know it, hit subscribe now. We bring you the latest breakthroughs you won't hear anywhere else. Tachyonic fields. Tachyonic fields represent one of the most misunderstood concepts in theoretical physics. While science fiction portrays tachyons as faster-than-light particles, Physicists use the term to describe something more subtle but equally profound. Quantum fields with imaginary mass values that indicate fundamental instabilities in a system. These fields aren't just mathematical curiosities. They play essential roles in some of our most advanced physical theories. In string theory, tachyonic modes help identify when a system is in an unstable configuration, potentially heading toward a phase transition. The Higgs mechanism itself, which gives particles their mass, involves a tachyonic field that undergoes symmetry breaking in the early universe. What makes these recent CERN observations so compelling is how the energy patterns resemble theoretical predictions for tachyonic field behavior under extreme conditions. Some physicists speculate that these instabilities could be pointing to deeper distortions in the structure of space-time itself when subjected to the extreme energy densities achieved in the collider. The Ghost of Opera The neutrino fiasco that sparked FTL panic This wouldn't be the first time strange experimental results have raised profound questions about our understanding of physics. In 2011, the Opera experiment famously detected neutrinos that appeared to travel faster than light, a finding that would have upended Einstein's special relativity if confirmed. That result was eventually traced back to a loose fiber optic cable causing measurement errors, but not before it sent shock waves through the scientific community. The incident demonstrated how even small anomalies can challenge our most fundamental theories. The crucial difference now. The current anomalies have persisted through multiple calibration checks and independent verification procedures. 
While CERN officials remain appropriately cautious, the question grows more pressing with each new analysis. What if this isn't an error? What if we're genuinely observing something that requires new physics to explain? If these kinds of discoveries fascinate you, don't forget to subscribe. We explore the breakthroughs others won't even talk about. But what if we told you CERN may not be the only place detecting these quantum irregularities? Space-time distortion or data glitch? The physics community remains divided over how to interpret these unusual readings. On one side, researchers like Dr. Mikhail Sorokin argue that what we're seeing may simply be sophisticated experimental noise. Artifacts created by the immense complexity of the detection systems rather than genuine new physics. Before we claim to have found tears in the fabric of reality, we should exhaust every conventional explanation, cautions Dr. Sorokin. His team is currently running extensive Monte Carlo simulations to determine whether the observed patterns could emerge from known physics plus detector effects. On the other side, a growing number of physicists believe these anomalies warrant deeper investigation precisely because they've persisted through multiple calibration checks. Dr. Aisha Rahman, theoretical physicist at Cambridge, points out, what makes these signals particularly interesting is their consistency across different detection systems and energy levels. That's not typical of instrumental artifacts. One critical line of evidence comes from tests of Lorentz symmetry, the principle that the laws of physics remain the same regardless of orientation or velocity. CERN's experiments have repeatedly tested whether this fundamental symmetry holds at high energies, looking for tiny violations that might indicate a preferred direction in space-time or subtle tears in its structure. So far, these tests have shown no definitive violations of relativity, with the laws of physics appearing to hold firm. Yet the unexplained anomalies continue to appear in other aspects of the data, creating a puzzling contrast that has physicists questioning their most basic assumptions. Theoretical frameworks that might predict rift-like behavior. While tachyonic rifts aren't standard terminology in physics journals, several established theoretical frameworks do predict phenomena that might manifest in ways similar to what CERN is observing. Wormhole theory, solutions to Einstein's equations that could act as tunnels through space-time, remains one of the most fascinating mathematical possibilities in theoretical physics. While wormholes themselves would require exotic forms of energy to stabilize and remain purely theoretical, some of their predicted quantum signatures bear striking similarities to patterns emerging in CERN's data. Other theoretical frameworks that might account for these observations include string theory with its extra dimensions and brain world scenarios where our universe exists as a membrane in a higher dimensional space. These models mathematically allow for topology shifts in space-time under extreme energy conditions, precisely the kind of environment created in the LHC's most powerful collisions. Dr. Jennifer Huang, who specializes in quantum gravity, notes, The mathematics behind these theories is sound, even if experimental verification has remained elusive. What's exciting about the current anomalies is how they align with certain predictions from these models about how space-time might behave at the quantum level. It's important to emphasize that these frameworks remain unverified. They represent our best mathematical attempts to reconcile quantum mechanics with gravity. Yet their continued survival in the theoretical landscape stems from their mathematical consistency and potential explanatory power. CERN's public rebuttal and historical myth-busting. It's worth noting that CERN has consistently addressed public concerns about its experiments throughout its history. The organization has repeatedly responded to fears about creating microscopic black holes, opening portals to other dimensions, or even causing shifts in reality, the so-called Mandela Effect. 
CERN officials emphasize that safety assessments by independent experts have conclusively determined that the Large Hadron Collider poses no danger to Earth or the fabric of reality. Their most compelling argument, nature itself conducts similar experiments constantly. Cosmic rays from space collide with Earth's atmosphere at energies far exceeding what the LHC can produce, explains Dr. Thomas Muller, CERN's public safety liaison. These natural collisions have been occurring for billions of years without incident. If high-energy collisions could tear space-time, we would have seen evidence of it in astronomical observations long ago. This context makes the current anomalies all the more intriguing. If they truly represent something unprecedented, it would have to be a phenomenon that somehow only manifests under the specific controlled conditions created in the collider. Conditions that differ in some crucial way from natural cosmic ray collisions. CERN's approach to these findings remains methodical and cautious. Their official position acknowledges the anomalies while emphasizing the need for rigorous verification and peer review before drawing any conclusions about their significance. Still, one thing remains unexplained. If this is just noise, why are top physicists still analyzing it weeks later? The persistence of these investigations suggests something more complex than typical experimental artifacts. When multiple research teams independently decide that anomalous data warrants months of careful analysis rather than dismissal, it indicates that something genuinely unusual may be occurring, even if that something ultimately proves to be a subtle effect within conventional physics rather than a dramatic new discovery. Mikio Kaku Renowned theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku has frequently discussed the limitations of our current understanding of quantum field theory. While not directly commenting on these specific CERN anomalies, his perspective provides valuable context. When we push our experiments to energy levels never before achieved, we should expect surprises, Kaku has noted in his discussions of high-energy physics. The history of science teaches us that every time we open a new window onto the universe, we find something unexpected. Dr. Kaku has long maintained that our current theories are incomplete, merely approximations that work well within certain boundaries but break down at extreme scales. The standard model of particle physics leaves too many fundamental questions unanswered. It can't explain dark matter, dark energy, or how gravity fits with quantum mechanics. This perspective reflects a broader consensus among top physicists. Despite tremendous progress, fundamental physics remains full of unknowns. Even mainstream scientists acknowledge that we may be one experiment away from a paradigm shift that forces us to rethink our most basic assumptions about reality. Speculative but grounded possibilities. What might these anomalies actually represent, if not a literal tachyonic rift? Several scientifically grounded possibilities have emerged from the theoretical community. One intriguing hypothesis suggests we could be witnessing signals of vacuum instability, a theoretical prediction that our universe's quantum vacuum might not be in its lowest energy state. If true, the extreme energies achieved in the LHC might be producing local fluctuations that briefly probe this instability. Another possibility is that these anomalies mark an energy threshold where new physics begins to emerge. Just as quantum effects become relevant at small scales and relativistic effects at high velocities, there may be a threshold where space-time itself begins to exhibit new properties. Perhaps most conservatively, these anomalies could be pointing toward phenomena like supersymmetry or a hidden fifth force, extensions to current physics that have been theorized but remain experimentally unverified. What appears mysterious now might simply be the first evidence of these more modest but still revolutionary additions to our understanding. To be absolutely clear, no one has observed a literal tear in the fabric of space-time. What CERN has detected are anomalous patterns in particle behavior that don't immediately align with our current understanding of physics. 
Yet the history of science teaches us that such anomalies often precede breakthroughs. When Henri Becquerel discovered that uranium salts would fog photographic plates without exposure to light, it seemed like a curious anomaly, but it led to the discovery of radioactivity and eventually quantum mechanics. What seems like an insignificant data quirk today could be tomorrow's revolutionary insight. This is precisely why physicists continue to investigate these anomalies with such interest regardless of how speculative the initial interpretations might be. If this intrigued you, wait until you see what NASA might be hiding in the next episode. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss what they don't want you to know. What if the laws of physics are already breaking down and we're just catching the first cracks? For those interested in a deeper understanding, let's clarify some key concepts. In quantum field theory, tachyonic fields don't actually indicate faster-than-light particles, but rather represent mathematical instabilities in a system, essentially fields with imaginary mass values that signal a system's tendency to reorganize into a more stable configuration. The Planck scale, approximately 10 to the negative 35th meters, represents the fundamental limit where our current physics theories break down completely. The scale at which quantum effects and gravitational effects become equally important, requiring a unified theory we still don't have. Lorentz symmetry, the principle that physical laws remain the same regardless of an observer's orientation or velocity, forms the foundation of Einstein's special relativity. Any confirmed violation would revolutionize physics. CERN maintains rigorous safety standards with multiple independent assessments confirming that collider experiments pose no threat to Earth. Media myths about creating black holes or altering reality stem from misunderstandings of the physics involved and the natural safeguards inherent in our universe's structure. When quantum experiments produce unexpected results, they sometimes spark extreme theories precisely because quantum mechanics itself is so counterintuitive. The gap between cutting-edge theoretical physics and public understanding creates fertile ground for speculation, making it crucial to maintain scientific rigor while remaining open to genuine anomalies.